So this is going to be a little, uh, probably a little controversial um, because I, I, uh, I don't shy away from controversial on topics I'm familiar on. And the, what I want to bring to everybody's attention is the uh, controversy in the atheist community, right? And I've been a part of this community for, I don't know, loosely, we could say maybe a year or so, about two years since I, um, or a year and a half since I came out as an atheist, about a year involved in the community. And over that period of time, there have been numerous fights within the atheist community. And without fail, there are people who come out whenever anything happens between containers, between people, voices within the community. Anytime that any sort of confrontation happens, you have people come out that say, we need to all just get along. You know, we need to stop this fighting. We need to, the, the atheist community is too fractured. We, we've got to, we've got to get along. We, we've got to, you know, unite and fight and everything else. And to me, this, this just reeks of ignorance whenever that happens, because the atheist community is probably the loosest, the, the loosest community you could possibly gather of people, Right. There's one unifying factor in the atheist community, and that is a lack or disbelief in God, depending on how you define the word. There, there is absolutely no other uniting factors, right? So your community is based around a disbelief, not even that we're for something, but that we, we disbelieve in something. Not only that, one of the things that makes good communities is moral foundations, Right. This is why religious communities are united. This is, again, why left and right politics are united, is you have to have a moral foundation in order to build a stable community. We have none. The, the, the moral, the ethical system atheists follow are wildly varied. And so if you're somebody that's a consequentialist um, and you're weighing harm and benefit and you're talking to a deontologist, you're not you're not even speaking on the same terms, right? Because the people are going to conceptualize things in different ways. And the main thing that I want to get across on this is it's not a bad thing whenever arguments break out within the atheist community because we're not arguing about atheism, right? There, We may be arguing about how we treat religious people. We may be arguing about uh, we view race relations. We might be arguing about trans topics. We might be arguing about universal health care or, or politics or any of this, right? You're not arguing about atheism. And so to say that, and this was touched on earlier, but to say that because we all share a disbelief in God, that we need to toe some sort of line is, is a religious holdover, right? I, I can't conceptualize it in any other way. It's, it's either because you're viewing things as an in-group, out-group, and and the groups are really, really loosely oriented. So we're never going to have the cohesiveness that, say, Christians or uh, other religious groups have, Buddhists, any, any other religious group, any religious group that prescribes a moral code. We're never going to be on that level. And nor do we want to be. Because the other important thing about atheism is, is it allows for critical thinking. It allows us to form our own opinions without supernatural biases clouding our judgment, right? And so it's important that these disagreements occur, and it's important that we don't tow these lines simply because we're atheists. It, it, and, and there should be no there should be no sentiment that we shouldn't argue with other atheists because we're all atheists, because these, these topics aren't about atheism, period. Exactly. I, I think people people will know I'm in total agreement with that one. Um, what I oftentimes will see is is people jump in, um, and they'll they'll tag both of the people in a in a post. We've got to get along. That has never worked. Please don't no. do that. That does not help. Um, that just that just brings things back to a head. And um, you know, like like. Like uh, Evan said there, um, 
we agree on one thing and even we t it's been mentioned in the chat we don't even agree on the definition of that one thing half the time um there are people out there that will say that i being a, a strong atheist that will say i don't believe in gods and i believe no gods exist that i'm going too far yep. that don't do that um uh, and no that's ridiculous um this is what i believe there are people out there will say don't say believe because that's religious. Well, I say believe. Um, there, there are people. <laughs> Those people are dumb. I, <laughs> I was dumb. There's, I was, there's no way about it. If you and, have ever said you shouldn't believe, you're dumb. And I'm speaking to you as well, R and Ra. We'll debate on this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but yeah, there, there's like when you're when you're a group around something that you don't believe in. It tells you absolutely nothing about the people in the group. Um, you can group around humanism because that has set principles. Uh, you can group in religions. Uh, you can group in, in all manner of things. You could even group in your favorite sports team because you're rooting for that favorite sports team. But when you're rooting for... We don't believe in mustard on sandwiches. <laughs> well, then what, uh, what do you believe? What exactly do you believe here? Oh um, God. and cause it doesn't tell you if people like mayonnaise, it doesn't tell you if they like ketchup, it just tells you they don't like mustard. Um, oh, don't, don't mention mayonnaise because I, I think we have some. Uh, we do have uh, X was in here that's anti mayonnaise, <laughs> and I I like mayonnaise, so I, I'm pro mayonnaise. I hate um, mayonnaise too. But Hashtag, yeah, it's had actual mayo, not that not that like uh, Miracle Whip shit. Uh, no. No. no, I no, like no actual whip. mayo. Snarky likes Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. No, that's so it. Nobody, nobody can say we don't disagree. <laughs> I would just like to ask, um, hashtag Evans, is it okay if we cancel Snarky? I'm fine with it. Oh! Um, no. <laughs> but, I'm no. platform! Somebody <laughs> Evans Bay! But, no, I but mean... I, had, uh, I think hashtag had something to say. Okay. Oh. If I did, I forgot and it. And now, now she, oh, no. now hashtag has the look of, no, <laughs> I, I don't. She's been interrupted like three times. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's like you, you can, like you can try to make these groups around things that you simply don't believe um, or that you don't like. But here's what happens. You end up with fights. <laughs> you end up with, with fractures. It's going to happen. There's no way that you can unite about one thing that you don't agree on. It's fine. Yeah, it's and, perfectly and fine. And the whole atheism plus thing, I'm telling you, it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Relax. The thing about it is, is, is groups operate best whenever they have a moral foundation with on which to stand. We're all friends on this panel because we share a lot of the same moral foundation. So we believe that you know people are individuals we believe that their rights should be respected we believe there are plenty of things that we can say are moral judgments that we, we stand on humanism is a good instance of this you can unite humanism easy because it's a system of ethics right that is atheistic in nature secular in nature but it's something that you can unite around atheism itself is just doesn't work it, it, it it's not something it's not enough of a it's not enough of a moral foundation to create a community around and so fights within the community are perfectly fine you know yeah, and they and, and they should happen. they they they're going to happen they should happen um and and it's it's one of those things it's like any other stance that you take you're going to lose friends gain friends and, and you've got to be fluid enough to realize that not all people agree and not all people agree all the time. Yeah, so. and you, should, you shouldn't have to subject yourself to staying friends with someone that you don't like just for the sake of how it appears to other people. Well, yeah, I've, I've heard people say, well, what do you think it looks like to the Christians when atheists fight in their own community? I don't care. 
I don't give a damn. Christians fight amongst themselves all the time. That's why there's thousands of denominations. I have two yes. sisters that fight against each other, and they both go to the same freaking church. So, yeah. right? It, you're, it's you're, just... you're, you're not going to get the same kind of group cohesiveness. But but the notion that because this other group may think differently, I don't do what I do. I don't believe what I do on the basis of what another group thinks about me. You know. And again, that's another thing that's against you should be who you are. Your yes. your individualism should take precedent over what other people think about you. I don't give a good goddamn what the Christians think of the atheist community. Hell yeah. Right. Because yeah. I am not again, it's it's one of those things that I'm, you know, I'm against broad brushes. We can yeah. we could recognize that the Bible holds holds uh, a, a proclivity to do terrible things. And we can also recognize that Christians don't follow that as a general rule. Mm-hmm. And yeah. once, I mean, once again on this, we have to kind of preface and say that we're not saying you can't be an atheist and not be a humanist. That's, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is if you want to build a community that's respectful and that's respectable, Um, you're going to do it through a moral foundation. You're not going to do it through the one thing that you all happen to agree on. And that's a negative that you don't believe in God. Um, and I say this as somebody that's part of the atheist community, right? That's a community that I identify with, but the general conception needs to be that the atheist community is such a broad category that it doesn't tell you absolutely anything about that person other than that they don't believe in God, you know? Right. And whenever we in the atheist community act like we shouldn't be infighting, it's, it narrows the scope in such a way that we don't even want it narrowed. Yeah, Yeah. It's, it's really weird because it's like, what do you want a cult? If you want to join a cult where everybody agrees with everything, then do that. Like well, atheism when, is not, you can't dictate how, what people believe. Oh, oh, but they don't believe anyway. Well, uh, but that's <laughs> the thing is that the thing that people are going to want to know what you stand for, yeah. not what you stand yeah. against. Indeed. Um, no one wants to know, like if someone says, what kind of music do you like? I hate uh, this country band. Music. I hate country, country music. Uh, no, what music do you like? I hate country music. Right. That doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, and that's why a lot of times you'll see atheist pages are reduced to just memes about the same old shit over and over again. And the same with the, the atheist YouTube channels. They have to move on to, like, I don't know, something Humanism. that they find. <laughs> humanism or i don't know freaking out over feminists you know it it... well and it's like you know with my two sisters one of them i know will will never watch my content because i'm an atheist the other one i sent her my jesse smullett um thing and she said that's great i love seeing you talk about things you're passionate about you know and and those two are are butting heads at times because of the way that they kind of look at people and you know i hate to say it but sometimes judge people right so you know that and that's uniting over something they do believe in so of course people who are uniting over something that they don't believe in are going to have differences Right. And it shouldn't be said that, you know, if you do have principles and you voice those principles and you push back against another atheist, that you're being divisive. I fucking hate that. Oh, I hate that so, so much. I, I, <laughs> I realized that I, I don't have a moment of awe this week. Um, so so I, I'll, I'll give you a moment of awe and it's just going to be this. Thousands of angry men are out there today because the new star Wars trailer came out and captain Marvel is going to be a, a a big force in the new Avengers movie. I think we all, they all deserve a moment of silence for, for the time (laughs) that they are going to be in pain. So let's go ahead. Just a moment of silence. And that's enough. And uh, so, 
<laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a moment of awe. We have.